bits I have for it. Morning everyone, it's a nice day, getting up in the 60s again. Just got the portable corral out here, we're gonna work another group of cattle. The calves specifically get that vaccine in them. They're, uh, they're still pretty small, uh, we're giving them that nasalogen. I think we'll be able to manhandle them, so we're, we don't need a, a chute and a head gate for this. Uh, so I thought we'd just go with the portable corral. We already got some takers, look at that. Dad's also hauling some corn today, and actually he's already on load two and he's only taking three in, so when he gets back, we just gotta load him up one more time. Then we'll be ready for this. We're gonna just chase him around. Got a nice funnel. He's excited. Is he excited to get vaccinated today? Woo! Just gotta split the cows off like we did yesterday, run the calves through, try to double tag them. Look at all this butt floof you got going on. I bet mom is excited for that to end up in the garage, huh? This tractor started right up. Hasn't been ran all winter. Basically since the last day of harvest, it got parked in the shed and does need an oil change before we start. And so I thought, well, might as well pull it out. Maybe today we'll get the two 8Rs changed and ready to go. Look at this. That's a whole pile of bird trap. How many poops do you think are there? My guess, 113. What do you think? Too gosh dang mini, that's the answer.
going pretty well. If these calves were a couple weeks older, this would be a lot harder. Because they put on weight fast, they get strong. What's awesome about this time of the year, on these days we get this nice weather, you can really enjoy it because you're not getting bitten by mosquitoes or gnats or flies yet. Let me give it a couple more weeks. But man, this is, this is bliss right here. Make sure you live it up when you can. Got a dinner for two going on. I didn't remember you had twins, 203. Did you bring a treat up to the house? What is that? Sushi? Favorite thing to do, let's change some oil.
Uh, inch and a quarter. I hope I got enough bucket down here. Yeah, but one of them's smaller. How did you get this in here? They have this convenient ceiling here to really make it fun to not get oil in the right hole. 2023 Brian tightened it and 2024 couldn't hardly loosen it. Feels like wet raccoon over here. Yeah, I didn't know what that smell. I mean, I didn't know if that was your body odor. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. This actually works better than yesterday, though. Yeah, it is. Two more tractors done. Well, including the gators, we've probably got another five more to go. Surprised there was no new calves during the day today. Uh, she looks like she's getting pretty close. Probably be some over the night tonight. Got another group of calves vaccinated. I think last video I mentioned there was some rain that was potentially coming. They keep lowering that. It doesn't really look promising anymore, but we'll see what happens. If we could use a half inch, that'd really perk up the rye. You can see it's getting green over there. Could use some moisture. We appreciate you watching. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Cole, did you hear about that rancher that or that old cowboy that went to the barber shop to get a get a haircut and a shave? Mm-mm. No. Oh. Well his he had so many lines in his face from all the years in the sun that the barber asked him to put a little wooden ball in his cheek to stretch it out so he could shave it. And when he got done, the, the old cowboy said, that's the best shave I've ever had, but what would you have done if I'd have swallowed the ball? And he said, I'd just tell you to bring it back in a couple days. That's what everybody else does. Ew. <laughs> Eh. <laughs>